When someone uses Elemental Form, you might not be happy with the format of the email that you get back. Let me show you an example. We've got a very simple form over here, and I'm going to fill out the details and hit send. I've intentionally added in a message that's got some returns in here, and I'm going to hit send. And this is what you get back on email. Now, some of you might look at this and go, hey, we're okay with that. But what if you don't like the way it is styled, like it says message, hey, how are you? Yes, we are getting the returns in there. But what if you don't like that? and you want to make it a little bit more bespoke to what you want to see or maybe your client does. But what you need to do is use a little bit of HTML. So if we go back to our form, go over to where you have email, you'll see here it says all fields. And that's basically what it will do. It will take your fields and it will list them out in the way I've just shown you. Now, if you want to make it a bit more bespoke, what I recommend you do for each of your fields, go and give them an ID. So let's go over to the name field. We're going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to call this name x yeah i know i always have these peculiar naming conventions but i'm just doing it because the code i'm going to share with you is easier to understand so i'm going to call that name x and you'll notice down here the short code also says name x we we'll go to email i'm just going to change that to contact x and when we get to the message i'm going to call that one details x I've done this intentionally, all right, just to show you that you don't have to always use the ID it pre-populates for you. So we've now got three IDs, NameX, ContactX, and DetailsX. Going back over to our email where we have all fields, I'm going to get rid of that, and instead I'm going to paste in some HTML. And if you start squinting at the screen, don't worry, go and click the link in the video description. You can go and grab this code from the Code Snippets website, and you can paste it in and then tweak it to work for you. Basically, all this is doing is setting each of those details onto their own line which is why we're using the paragraph syntax we're putting the label in the strong or you could use b for bold as well name contact message and then over here you can see field id equals name x the mail to field we've also done one for contact x for the message one we've got field id equals details x if i decide i don't want to show the details for whatever reason i mean why wouldn't you do that but let's just say i didn't want it to be there or i wanted to have extra breakpoints because over here you could add in some further ones here so if you want to have two or three lines you could do or maybe you want to put it in a different color again this is just html you can style this how you want you will notice some syntax that says pre here this just ensures that when we are using html it maintains the carriage returns let's just go and update that send exactly the same form this is now what we get i don't know about you but doesn't this feel nicer than what you got here and before you shout at the screen if you don't like the formatting of the text, just go and stick it into your HTML with your relevant font family. So if you've not been content with the formatting of the emails once they've been sent, go and use this bit of code and tweak it to work for you. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.